Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a scribbly text animation effect. So this is a little bit different than your music video scribble effects that I've shown in previous tutorials. It's actually a built-in scribble generator in After Effects that lets you fill in any mask or path with these generated scribbles. So I'm just working on a blank composition here. You can use composition, new composition if you need. And I'm going to create a text layer to begin working with. So I'll go to layer, new text. So here I'll type out scribble text. And of course, you can adjust your properties of your text in the character and paragraph panel to your liking. So I'll just put that in the center in my case. And now we actually want to create a mask out of all these different lighter shapes. So we can actually right click on the text and go to create masks from text. And what that'll do is it'll automatically create a mask for each letter. So now we have a new object in our composition called Scribble Outlines. So now let's head over to the Effects panel and let's search for one called Scribble. You'll see you'll find this in the Generate Effects folder because it generates the scribbly effects. So we'll click and we'll drag this onto our Scribble Outlines. And you might see only one letter pop up at first. But that's because we still have to tell it what we want to fill in with these scribbles. So on the left hand side, you could choose all your different masks. So in this case, I have every single letter if you want to do some type of animation in that way. However, you can also go to scribble instead of single mask. You can choose all masks and that selects everything. But for any shapes where there's masks making negative space like the B and the R, let's select all masks using modes. So that's up to you whether you want that kind of more cartoony or silly look with the letters filled in or the all mask using modes considers each shape. So now we have our scribble text, but the default in my opinion doesn't really look very good. It just looks kind of like some scratchy lines. It doesn't really look like someone's drawing it. So we can go in and adjust a whole bunch of options here to make it our own. So first we have the fill type. By default it's inside, but you could play around with different edges to get these interesting other effects or outlines. And you could pick one that fits the theme or the look that you're going for. So I'll just keep it on the inside. And also you can adjust the color. So instead of a white, you could pick some type of bright color, like a crayon color. And keep in mind that you can animate any of these with keyframes afterwards. So you can make it rotate from one color to the next. So next we have opacity. I'm going to leave mine at 100%. And angle is the angle of the strokes. So you can see here they're going 60 degrees. And if you'd like, you can make them go horizontal or vertical, however you want your scribbles to look. So stroke width is how thick you want the lines to be. So the thicker they are, it kind of just becomes a solid block. And the thinner they are, it kind of becomes very faint and hard to see. So if we actually hit the drop down arrow on the stroke options menu, we have a whole nother host of selections for us to choose from, like curviness, which makes the letters look more like some loose pasta rather than scribbles, which can be kind of cool. Spacing, which is how spaced apart an area it is, which can help us increase the stroke width if we want thicker lines that are more spaced apart. And you have options for variation and overlap as well. So these options really let you customize it to get the exact look that you're going for. So I'm gonna go with some slightly curvy text and spaced out in this example, but play around with it and make it your own. Next, we have the start and end options, and this will allow us to animate things in eventually. You can see we could animate from zero to 100. And we also have the wiggle type. So it's smooth by default, which just smoothly animates from wiggle to wiggle. And if you notice that it's scribbling kind of slow looking and jello like, that's because your preview is probably rendering. But if you play back that green bar, you'll see that it has that fast scribble look. And you can also adjust that to be jumpy rather than smooth, which means that it'll just jump from frame to frame. And you also have static, which if you wanted to, just leaves it without any animation. So I'm gonna use jumpy in my case. I like that kind of hand done feel. And wiggles per second is how many wiggles per second you wanted it. If you were doing smooth, it would just wiggle more often. And random seed is just basically, if you didn't like how your first frame was looking, you could flip that around. So now that I've generated my scribble effect, I'll do some of those animations that I mentioned in the beginning. So let's animate the color of the scribble and the start and end animation. So we scribble and fill it in. And just for this tutorial's sake, we'll animate the angle as well. So for the start, I'm gonna start at 100%. 
masked out so there's nothing there and let's go over a bit on the timeline and let's make the start go all the way down to zero so it'll animate in and let's change the color over time to become yellow and let's adjust the angle to have moved over about 20 degrees by the time the scribble ends you do have to be careful because if you flip over 180 degrees on the angle then the start and end positions will switch which i realized so when I play that back from start to finish, you see we have that scribble generated effect and it'll just continue animating throughout the duration of the composition. So that's how to create a scribble text effect. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Go out there and create your own scribble text and make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisha if you want to reach me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.